Welcome everyone and welcome with a new channeling of the Council of Light. And thank you so much for all your questions and I will read one of them for you. This is a question which I also really liked so I'm very curious what you think. Somebody asked, do trees also have a consciousness like humans? Let's see what the Council of Light has to say with this question. Dear you, and thank you so much for your question. And your question is one of the questions where we can talk about for hours. Well, at least in your time frame. But we will give you a short and also spicy answer so you can contemplate on the question yourself as well. From our point of view, the seventh dimension, we can only say that everything has a form of consciousness. Because when you see form, it means that it is connected to a form of consciousness. The third dimension is quite a wonderful dimension. Because in a third dimension, your energy gets form. So the moment you see form in the empty space, it means that it is connected to a deeper form of consciousness. But if we zoom in to your question about trees, we would love to speak a little bit more about the depth of the souls of trees. Because if you would fully understand the consciousness of trees, you would be grateful for the biggest plant teachers there are on your planet. You can say that when you are a human, your life gets around, let's say, the minimum is around 20 years and the maximum is around 120 years of life experience on your planet. So you can say that in this time frame you can experience and move around in time and space. But when you are a tree, the normal life frame of plants and trees is normally quite long and also can be experienced only on one place. So when you are a tree placed on this planet and you have a lifelong experience on let's say 500 or at least a thousand years, placed on just one place the consciousness of this tree is being in depth to be felt on different kinds of layers. So can you imagine when you are with your roots in the planet and with your leaves in the air, how much transmutation space is available? So rather that we see plants and trees as a living material, but also as living material with a deeper form of consciousness. This consciousness has chosen to be stand on one place only and also to be spread and moved their energy on one place only. So can you imagine what a wonderful soul contract this brings with plants and trees? especially trees which are connected so deeply rooted in the earth and so deeply reaching out to the air, the maximum of their energy spread around your planet and the moment they are connected to the other trees, the light field gets so much stronger. But just like every consciousness, every vibration can be felt. That's why there are also sick trees, or grumpy trees, sad trees, hateful trees, or left alone trees. Because every frequency can also be felt in this consciousness. That is why trees can feel deep love, but also deep form of lust. So please understand that when you realize that trees have a similar form of consciousness, but from a deeper form of 
connected to the earth because they are more rooted in the earth and they are standing on one place only, experiencing all kinds of vibrations, that their presence is here to be worked with us as humans as well. And sometimes we are surprised because human forms in the earlier days could truly feel the souls of trees, especially on the lands that they were living in. So the moment you choose to use trees, let's say as their bodies as forms of wood to build your house, to build your fire, or to use wood for different kinds of other materials, then you realize that you are using this form of consciousness as a form of gratefulness what you are building together. So the next time you are making fire with wood, please realize that this consciousness is working together. Or when you are living in a wooden house, your consciousness is working together. Or let's say that you are work living in a stone house where other forms of trees needed to be chopped away for. Please be grateful for their place where you are standing right now. The moment we realize that consciousness is working together to build a life together, we realize that our connection lines are so much stronger than we think. There are so much lines of gratefulness being forgotten because we don't realize that the collaboration goes way deeper than we think. That's why we also say, please try to practice gratefulness when you are working with wood or when you are using wood or when you are eating plants or when you are chopping wood to make place for your own. Therefore we say that this consciousness has a very deep form of loving and also collaboration to build together a new earth. So, please understand that the moment you bring your consciousness with everything that is alive and the moment our consciousness are working together to build something new, to celebrate something new. And the moment we see this wonderful network of collaboration, you can finally see how it's all working together. And that every conscious layer is co connected to each contract. So please be grateful the next time you are using wood. Please be grateful for the wood the next time you are making a fire. Because the moment we work together and we see this wonderful collaboration of consciousness coming together in that moment now, it is a wonderful celebration and collaboration of consciousness building and creating together. Well, I feel in my human form, I can feel a little bit of guilt that I didn't know, but also a little bit of wondering, uh, be wondering, like if everything has consciousness, then this creation form as we do as humans is quite special. So I'm very grateful for your question. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe or maybe even send your question to the Council of Light. Let's enjoy this wonder of life together. <laughs>